standing before you here today. But just imagine how 16-year-old Jason Lee must have felt when he pitched his company, iRetron, on the national TV show in America called Shark Tank. Jason is a product of SAGE, Students for the Advancement of Global Entrepreneurship, where our mission is to create the next generation of entrepreneurial leaders whose innovations and social enterprises address some of the world's most urgent problems. No other program combines our three key components. Curriculum, like many boss. Mentoring from university students who are entrepreneurs and majoring in business. And competition, just like the one you're going to see here tomorrow. The result of these three key, key components is our teenagers become social change agents. Did it sound like I had practiced that before? Yeah. This was part of a pitch I gave a couple years ago. And I was standing in front of an audience of 300 people, and I was so nervous. And if you were successful in this pitch, companies would donate to you because these companies were socially responsible and they wanted to promote youth entrepreneurship. My topic today is called Humanitarian Capitalism and SAGE, a powerful formula. Now, a couple of you have mentioned capitalism before. Think about the word capitalism. What does this mean? It's an economic system by which private businesses seek to make profits by creating goods and services with a minimum of government regulation. Do you all understand capitalism? Right. Well, historically, up until about 20 years ago, capitalism was the most famous form of economic enterprise in the West. In Russia, capitalism becomes more okay after communism and the fall of the Iron Curtain. Now, in America, you all have heard of a man named Bill Gates, yes, founder of Microsoft. He wrote an article not long ago about a form of capitalism called creative capitalism. Creative capitalism, he says, Corporations should also give back to their communities rather than just seek profits as their only goal. Because if you give back to the community, you will get good recognition and your stock market price goes up and the company makes more profit. So that's called creative capitalism, but the main goal there is still profit. Well, then another man came along. His name was John Mackey. And he described a form of capitalism called conscious capitalism. So, stop. Three forms of capitalism. Brute force profits only. Then there's creative capitalism, like Bill Gates says, profits and do good and you'll make more profits. And then John Mackey says, conscious capitalism means you should not only seek a profit, but you should also be kind to the environment, to be kind to the planet, and also be kind to your employees by paying them wages that will be above poverty level wages. So John Mackey is the founder of a company called Whole Foods. In America, Whole Foods is a big grocery store chain that was just purchased by a company called Amazon. Do you all understand Amazon? Okay, Amazon uh, is a huge company and they just purchased Whole Foods. All three forms of capitalism, classical, creative, and conscious capitalism, all believe that government should have a tiny little influence on business and the private sector should still be in charge of making profits and creating goods and services for society. 
Classical capitalism, under all three definitions, are based on competition and consumption. Eat, drink, consume. But today, I want to tell you about a new form of capitalism. I call this humanitarian capitalism. To be human, to be interacting with others. Humanitarian capitalism is as easy as A, B, C. A, assets, what we own, what we, what we have of value. Financial capital is A, assets. But there's another form of capital called B. B is for brains, intellectual capital. And then there's C. C is for connections, social capital. So the value of a business now is about assets, what you know, and who you know. Social capital is your network. Okay. Social capital as a form of humanitarian capitalism is not about competing for how much we consume, but it's also about competing by how much we conserve. Stop, stop. Compete based on how much we save. Sounds strange. Can we save the planet by creating a form of capitalism whereby we build new solar panels, new wind turbines, a safe form of nuclear power, right? Humanitarian capitalism is a form of capitalism whereby we compete based on how, what kinds of companies we start that make a profit but also do so in a sustainable manner. That's humanitarian capitalism from my perspective. Now, I sound like an accounting professor, don't I? Boring. <sighs> accounting. By day, I teach accounting. But by night, sage. <laughs> sage man. Yeah. Super hero? No. Just a regular guy trying to build bridges, not walls. Bridges across countries, not walls between them. We want to make it easy for young people to come to Ukraine in the future without walls. Less barriers and more bridges. When you come to the USA, it's hard to get visas to the USA because we build walls, don't we? Not bridges. Sage is changing the world. I had a conversation last night, and I'm still thinking about it, and I'm excited. I'm tingling just thinking about it. Where's Hamida from Iran? There's Hamida. Stand up, Hamida. Hamida's from Iran. Okay, all Americans, look at Hamida and go, ooh, I'm afraid. She's bad. Hamida is the enemy from Iran. No, she's our friend. She wants to help the youth learn to start social enterprises that will help us learn about one another's cultures. We are not afraid of Hamida. And I hope to go to Taiwan in January where I can teach high school teachers there about SAGE. And can you imagine? SAGE could be the first youth enterprise organization that breaks down barriers between the Middle Eastern countries that previously are considered not friendly to the West. Look at us here today. We have students from Russia and Chile and Nigeria and Ghana and Ireland and I don't want to forget anybody, that, but now that I've started, Bulgaria, Poland, Ukraine. Let's not forget, oh, I, I'm sorry, I cannot remember anymore. I love all of the students here, and I'm going to see your presentations tomorrow. You know who you are. There's a fine line between confidence 
and arrogance. Stop. Do you understand the English? To be confident versus arrogant. Everybody loves a confident person, but if you're overconfident, you become arrogant. So if you win the World Cup tomorrow, be confident, but be humble. Okay? Sprinkle your confidence with a little humility because you will go a long way because the people that you interact with are your future suppliers, your customers, and employees. This comes from Kansas City, Missouri, and I love it, but replace the word America with the world. Okay, can we cue up this video, Miguel? I am, I am an entrepreneur. I am following a dream, pursuing an opportunity, taking charge of my own destiny. destiny. I am bringing something of value to society, making a job for myself and for others, and creating wealth that benefits my family, my community, my country, my world. I am one of a movement of millions of entrepreneurs and innovators who made America great, and who will continue to keep our economy going and growing. I am what I am because many people have helped me along on this journey. Therefore, I will tell my story, sharing my successes and failures so that others taking the entrepreneurial path can learn. I will strive to mentor and aspire to entrepreneur. I will make my voice heard by those who make policy decisions that affect me and my business. I will appreciate and celebrate my accomplishments and the accomplishments of all my fellow entrepreneurs. I will give back to the society that helped me to be successful. I will build a stronger America. Not America, the world. We will all depend on each other. So in closing, in my last minute, we must broadcast not just profit. We must broadcast people and planet. We must broadcast a new form of capitalism. Not classical, not conscious, not creative, but what sage, what we call humanitarian capitalism. And we spread this message through a vehicle called SAGE, a powerful formula for change. Thank you.